What's going on, dude? Welcome back to the vault. It's your boy, MC War Titties. I don't know. I'll be reviewing a game today. I know my game reviews are usually quite far and in between, um, so sorry for that. I am aiming to upload uh, more gaming content and more game reviews, but more about that at the end of the video. Um, but the game I'll be reviewing today is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I know that's an oldish game, but I only recently played it in the last few months or so. So having said that, let's jump right into it. Uh, this one opens with an introduction to Mitchell and Will, who, uh, as they you know are preparing to kind of head into battle side by side, futuristic battle. <laughs> um, the gameplay of this one is pretty much, what, pretty much what you'd expect from a Call of Duty game. I, however, enjoyed the gameplay in Advanced Warfare so much more than in any other kind of iteration of the franchise. Um, there was just something incredibly cool about suiting up in an exoskeleton, you know, in exoskeleton body armour and gunning down bad guys with a lot more awesome futuristic tech and weaponry. Um, my personal favourite being the grenade that showed you enemy positions, you know, when, when it detonated. I just found that really cool. Um, the overall campaign isn't too long, but I like that it was short because it still managed to tell an engaging story. I'd honestly stop playing COD uh, games because I'm not a big fan of online play. I'm pretty shit on, at online play, just to be honest. Um, uh, and I was finding the Modern Warfare games somewhat boring. The only the only reason I'd ever play them was for the zombie for the zombies uh, section. Um, but this game made me appreciate the franchise again, uh, which is something that rarely happens because when I f kind of fall out of sync or fall out of love um, with, you know, with a game franchise, TV franchise, film franchise, it's kind of hard to get me back, get me invested back into it. And I'm looking at you, fucking Assassin's Creed, I'm looking at you. Um, but this, you know, this was a great game to play and just experience in general. Um, I really appreciated the graphics, which is something I never thought I'd say about, you know, when it came to a COD game. Um, this game, however, is just designed brilliantly with a lot of att gorgeous attention to detail on, on characters' faces and, and the many battle zones. Um, not to mention how well designed and how great all the future suits and tech look. Maybe it's because I haven't played uh, one of these games in years, um, but I never noticed the lovely attention to detail before. Um, the game does a great job of immersing you in it fully, and that's all thanks to the beautiful design and, and the just fantastic voice acting. Um, the voice acting and performances are also just tremendous. Kevin Spacey gives a sly performance as our villain, and Troy Barker plays on plays our hero Mitchell. And they are both joined by the likes of Gideon Emery. I'm going to definitely butcher these names. Uh, Carrie Payton, uh, Russell Richardson, and Angela Gotts. Um, every single performer really does help immerse you in the game. Just standout jobs from every single one of them. Um, the only thing I learned from this was that I'd make a terrible soldier. You know, even if I had an, an exoskeleton, so it's probably best to keep my fat ass sat on the sofa. Um, I'm, I'm terrible at fucking online play as well, so I'd probably just... Just best just to fucking just carry on being the lazy piece of shit that I am. Um, there we have it. There's my very quick review for uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Let's jump to the two most important questions. Um, question number one. Is this game good value for money? I would say that it is. Um, I wasn't expecting this game to be as enjoyable and as much fun to play as, as it was. And it definitely got me reinvested in in the call of duty franchise so i'm definitely gonna if i can pick up for cheap mind you i'm gonna definitely try and to to find the other games and try and give those a go um so i definitely say this game is is good value for money um it's, you know it's just really great game to play the the graphics are quite nice the voice acting is lovely so if you like that, that those reasons i would say this is a great great game great value for money Question number two, does this film, does this film, no, game, I'm getting so used to saying film, uh, does this game belong in the vault? Uh, my only issue with this game was that as great as the futuristic tech was, it did feel like there was, it did feel like there was something for like every situation, like there was some magical doodad that made it incredibly easy to overcome obstacles. Uh, that's a very minor grievance though, this game really didn't refresh and revi revitalise the whole franchise for me. I'm sounding like a parrot now, but it really did. I thoroughly enjoyed playing it and sinking the hours in, into it that I did. Um, so for those reasons, I think this game does belong on the vault. So it's gone. There's that little diamond star. It's gone off into the vault. 
followed by Kevin Spacey chasing it like he'd chase a young boy. Too soon, too soon for jokes. Um, so we have it going. So this is my very quick review for Advanced Warfare. And as always, if you you know if you played the game, you loved it, let me know what you loved down in the comments below. If you hated it, again, let me know what you hated down in the comments below. Um, as for game reviews moving forward, um, I have like a backlog of game reviews that I've written down. I'm going to try and um, kind of, you know, get uploaded, you know, and because I want this to be a gaming channel as well. I want this to be a, you know, a game review channel as well. So I can't keep just, you know, just updating game reviews every six months. It's just not on. Um, so moving forwards, I'm still having some technical issues with my laptop at the moment. So it's just a bit hard to kind of, um, get on and kind of put out these reviews, but I need to stop being again, a lazy bastard. And I need to just get myself a, you know, uh, I need to sort out the issues that I'm having. Um, I'm also interested in if you guys would be, uh, I'm interested to know if you guys would be interested in watching me if I started streaming. Um, I've been having thoughts lately of when I do start a new game, you know, would people be interested in watching me play those games? I don't know. Let me go, again, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Um, you know, and thank you for sticking with me over these years. I know I've only got 29 of you, but I, again, I appreciate it. I don't do this. I don't do this, you know, to get subscribers and, you know, get likes or whatever, get views. That would be nice. That would be a bonus. But I do this because I've got such a passion for films and games and just media in general. Um, but there we have it, guys. As always, if you like what I'm doing here, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, your pets, your family. Your friendly neighbourhood, Kevin Spacey Perverts. And until the next one, <laughs> peace and love, my dudes.